Hey guys, what's going on? It's Drake here, uh, and it is currently a quarter to 7 a.m. Saturday, March 26th. Uh, it's been a while since I made another video, but I uh, got busy and RC's been on the back burner, so that's why. But uh, we're getting ready to go points racing at PT's RC Raceway today. All right, and I have arrived to the PT's RC Raceway. Alright, I took some practice laps. Car felt good, but not good enough. I'm going to make a left front shock change and then go from there. Alright, I forgot to get some on-track footage, but after practice I changed the left front shock. Made the car a lot better, but they watered the track before qualifying or seating. So I changed it back, and that was not the right call. So it's back on there now. I ended up seating third. The two guys behind me in points qualified in front of me, so... I guess it's on to this car now. See what the Buggy Street Sack will do. I'm going to wait and see what the track does before I make some adjustments. I have an idea of what I want to do depending on what the track does. Up next, I made some adjustments to this buggy street stock. I ended up third overall in seating, so up next is the buggy street stock heat. Let's 
Round the car was tight coming in and about the center of the corner it would break loose it was a handful to drive I'm gonna uh, I guess take it apart and look at seeing what I think I can change and give her a shot all right I didn't get any footage of the slash street stock heat race the second one but uh, the car was tight so I freed it up and I freed it up too much all right guys future Drake here but uh, looking back on this video the car was not tight. I thought that it was tight coming in and then snapping loose in the center of the corner, but actually what was happening was the car was getting on the right front corner too hard, and I was compensating by not turning in very much, and then in the center of the corner I had the left rear unloaded too much. What I ended up doing was I took a shim out of the right rear. What I should have done is put a shim in the right front, but that's not what I did. You live and you learn. I finished third in the heat. It was terrible to drive, and... I don't know where I'm starting, but it should be about pull the B main or the last transfer in from the heats to the feature, so we'll see how that work happens. But uh, yeah, I guess I'm just going to throw the kitchen sink at it. Oh boy. Take a deep breath. Drink, you got to do. I highly recommend jumping and start by putting some fun on the floor. Roll around. Let's do it. Thank you. 
up the night. I pulled off in both features a uh, 
This one, I was involved in many accidents, and I foresaw the buggy straight stock doing the same thing, so I'm not going to tear up my equipment. Well, I guess after this, I'm going to do some uh, hot laps on this car when all the features are over, test it for tomorrow. And yeah, thanks for joining me. Hey there guys, it's Future Drake here again. Uh, I just wanted to explain myself a little bit. Coming into tonight, I was with drops tied for the lead in slash street stock points. Without drops, I was two points behind. And I was really looking forward to hopefully battling for a position. And I ended up finishing third in points. I was a little sour. I ended up getting better throughout the night. But it, it was just a little frustrating to me. Now, I had said that I had gotten involved in a bunch of wrecks. That really wasn't anyone's fault but my own. The car was too loose, and when I'd try to run the bottom and I'd get underneath the car, I'd typically the car would want to drift out in the corner, but I'd keep it turned down so I didn't hit anyone, and I'd spin myself out, as you saw. So that is on no one but myself. But I just wanted to explain that, and thank you all for watching, and I hope you guys like the next video better. I plan on improving. I did improve on the next video. That will be out tomorrow. If you're watching this right when it comes out, if not, you can go click on it. It'll be the next video up at Island Speedway Oval. Thanks, guys, for watching. I appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.